Yo! What is up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Madden 19, not top 10 plays of the week. Jared Cook is absolutely smothered on this play, but Cook is actually going to find the end zone and get a touchdown because three, kind of three Falcons defenders make a blunder trying to catch that ball. We go to play number nine where Smith maybe makes a catch for a touchdown. You can argue whether he had possession of the ball or if it's an incompletion and yada yada yada. But I'll tell you what you cannot argue. That that play was not a touchback. Why are the Minnesota Vikings back at their own 20 yard line? At least they still have possession, I suppose. As we go to play number eight, one second left in the Super Bowl. An onside kick recovery doesn't matter as long as the Patriots do not get a spectacular return. It's not a bad idea, but Demarius Thomas is going to pull a cat out of the bag and win the Super Bowl in style. Tark couldn't get him. This poor dude was playing against the CPU and still found the weirdest way to choke a Super Bowl. As we go to play number seven, watch out, Mr. Zebra. Down goes the right. Referee number 28 trying to keep up with the action gets a little bit too close and he might need the medic to check up on him as we go to play number six galloping guard this play is called what it is for a very simple reason because we have gallop at the left guard position this is a wide receiver ready to run around meanwhile the left guard is split out wide we can only assume to block yes he is meanwhile gallop with that straight line speed down the middle splits the defense Partially because he was in the middle of the field to start the play and left guard. That was absolutely illegal, but it's still a touchdown in Madden 19. As we go to play number five, we have a ton of players out of position here. It's hard to explain what's going on because there is so much wrong with this play. We have, it looks like the Marcus Lawrence at left tackle. We have the kicker at left guard. We have Chris Jones, the punter at quarterback, multiple Redskins. Pick whoever you want that's out of position, but the most important thing to focus on this play is big number 79, who is having a little bit of a neck issue here. <laughs> like, I'm a little bit scared of that guy, I'm not gonna lie. If I saw that dude one on one, I'd be a little bit shook. <laughs> I think he's a little bit shook, his neck is bending in that direction. As we go to play number four, where Jared Goff has mysteriously given himself up on third down, and the Cleveland Browns are playing kickball. They are kicking the ball way back. They can recover this for a touchdown at any given moment. By the way, kicking the ball like this is absolutely illegal. You're not allowed to intentionally just move the ball like this, but uh, we got these dudes playing soccer. It's the wrong kind of football, guys. We're just going to play number three, where the Dallas Cowboys are back in action. Dak Prescott trying to do something good, trying to find this end zone to extend the Cowboys' lead, and he's going to try to do it with his legs. Oh, but he loses the ball in the process. Ryan with the recovery, but he actually called it a Cowboys touchdown. I don't know how you can call that a Cowboys touchdown when a Cowboys player didn't take it in the end zone. I don't think that's possible at all, but sure. Sure, Madden 19. Let's go to play number two where Josh Allen is going to get absolutely rocked. Laying on the ball and eventually getting it is Byron Bell, the man that forced the bubble. Byron Bell, though, is going the wrong way. Byron Bell, no, no. Get, what, is this, what are his teammates doing? Stop escorting him into his wrong end zone. They keep on tackling him. There's nothing Byron Bell can do. At this point, he's a passenger mercilessly as his teammates ride him in for a Safety! How is that not the number one play of the week? Well, uh, you'll see eventually why this is the number one play of the week. So keep your eye on Matt Stafford here. Matt Stafford play is pretty much done. It looks like it's a turnover. Stafford just kind of chilling here. He looks a little bit bent down. He looks a little bit queasy. And then Stafford goes down. Stafford holding his back, riding in pain. What is wrong with Matthew Stafford? And why did he win? We just decide to do it once. I We can only assume the play in this is we can't really see what the camera was. Uh, <laughs> this is poor man Stafford. That's all I can say. I don't really know what else to say about this. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this video. This will be the last episode for Madden 19 Top 10 Plays of the Week. So thank you guys for your continued support for the series throughout the year. Obviously, we will be back for Madden 20 Not Top 10 Plays of the Week. And we will also have Not Top 10 Plays of the Year coming up soon. So look forward to that. So leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe for more Madden 19 Top 10 and eventually Madden 20 Top 10 Not Top 10 Plays of the Year. Thank you guys all year long for submitting your clips and supporting the series. And I'll catch you guys for those not top 10 plays of the year.